Hi guys, good to have you all back. Gunter is on my desk today and yesterday's project. I hope you've seen this one. Love this one. Um, just in case you haven't seen it, I made this a wonderful sort of file folder accordion system. Love it. And I put this on the cover. Now, um, because I did not film how I did this, I want to do something very similar uh, for the cover of Gunter. Yeah, so I'm going to do this or this. <laughs> over here so that's the plan for today i want to make a beautiful um a cover topper and a closure in one video yes because it's already sort of starting to get very bulky so it needs a closure yeah okay let me show you what supplies i think i might be using today because you know me i might add some more stuff along the way uh, let me show you for paper, I'm going to use a piece of a vintage map. This is from uh, a vintage atlas. I don't know what piece yet. One of those. I want to use a piece of cardstock. Now, I either am going to use um, the red burgundy or this mustard yellow. The only reason why I'm doubting this color red because I also want to do this. And this is the completely opposite color red. So, yes, I'm trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out. So, a piece of cardstock. Yeah, then acetate. Yes, I'm really into acetate at the moment, guys. I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> I just love it. Let me put something behind it. Yeah, I printed something fantastic on here. Well, in my opinion, it, this was a sort of vintage image of all sorts of globes and the intergalactic system. <laughs> I don't know, with all sorts of uh, um, equations and measurements on them. I really love this bit. So yeah i printed on acetate because that's what i did here like an acetate window and i'm also going to use the these frames of course now i need the biggest ones which is this one now i would have loved to have the black um, border in here that was smaller like over here but there isn't any so i need to work with this but i'll figure it out these are by the way from 49 and market guys it's called frames something um vintage artistry everywhere chipboard map frames item this yeah um i love it love it so i'm gonna use these what else i'm gonna use for paper some bits and bobs some bits and bobs now um I'm going to use lots of hardware. Let's just say hardware. Uh, because I I want to use this one. This is real, guys. It's either antique or vintage. This is a real sort of clock. Is it called a clock face? I don't know. It's from a pocket watch. It's beautiful. It's enameled. It's a little bit cracked. It's a real one. Yes, I have a box full. So I want to put this on here. Uh, I have a small key that I want to use. I'm going to use this for the closure. I did some inking on it. Yes, some distressing. I also have one of these left. These sort of pen nibs. Yeah. So, And, you know, uh, some brads and some eyelets and such. I have this patch that I thought I might like on here. So, yes, I punched a whole bunch of um, wheel tail tabs yesterday. So, I'm going to use some of this. Have you seen this one? Oh. I am so, so, so happy. I'm so sorry, guys. Apparently, uh, it's not anywhere to be found uh, outside of Europe. I am sorry. I'm still debating, uh, well, having a conversation with Marloes, if it is at, at all possible to ship it. Now, I have some other vintage bits and bobs that I might want to use. I have this lovely vintage slide. I also really, I want to use the card with the G on it for Gunter. A small film strip. I have some photographs. Look at this one. It's like Gunter and all his friends. Yes. You know, some bits some bits and bobs. Now, this is uh, an antique or vintage sort of me measuring tape. It was on uh, sort of this big roll that you could sort of wind up. Uh, it's been used with measuring outside, you know, smart people, engineers. Let's call them engineers. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know every, every word in English. Um, I don't even know the Dutch word for it. Landmeter, a uh, measuring property. Don't know. Well, this one, I'm going to use this for the closure. Now, for tools, I am using um, my my glue gun. How else am I going to glue this? I don't think art, art or barely art will, will manage. So, my glue gun, I'm going to use, you know, uh, some inking and 
this oh probably um some of this foam foam tape yes because i want it to be a little bit raised yes is that it uh well, my eyelid too i think so i think so guys um let's get started i need to build layers and layers and layers and layers so let's start with the first layer for the layers i'm going to work my way from the top to the bottom maybe that's a completely different approach but i'm thinking from the top to the bottom so um actually this is going to be the top layer this frame underneath is going to be the piece of acetate so i'm going to attach this to the acetate first yes also decided on yellow it's gonna be yellow today okay now i'm sorry for the for the lights guys i'm sorry it's it's too dark to not have my lights on now these are self-adhesive there are actually stickers so I'm, I'm just gonna take it off this one somewhere hello these are stickers right yes 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 they are love yes they are um and there we go keep the other ones on there now let's have a look Will this work? It will, it will, of course it will. I was trying to figure out how far I want everything to be on here. Yes, yes. Now it's stuck to my desk. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yes, okay. I need to cut it. I'm going to be smart. I'm just gonna be smart about this. I'm just gonna use my knife. Hoping that will work. If you're wondering what this is, this is over overhead sheet, overhead projector sheet. I'm sorry, it's a difficult, difficult word. I found um, a couple of boxes in a thrift shop, and my printer prints on it. So yes, I'm making good use of those. Careful of. Yes. Tada. Layer. Well, the top layer. Oh, it's already wonderful. Look at this. Well, we're done. Tada. End of video. See you all tomorrow. Next project. <laughs> okay, now this one is going to go underneath here. Yes. But without all of this, of course. Um, yes. Okay, so this is going to go in between. Now, this is going to be the first layer. Yeah, then I want to have this on here, but the yellow sticking out a little bit. So I was thinking to sort of cut off a piece all around here, leaving like a quarter inch on all sides. I do want to have some interesting stuff. Yeah, I am using my decorative edge trimmer. Oh yes, why not? You can use a, a tearing ruler, guys. I'm using my decals as trimmer because, you know, I have one. Let's just use it. First going to cut a piece off here. Yes. Oh yeah, that looks lovely. Decal edge. This edge. <laughs> yes. Okay. So now, how much do we need? Yeah, I'm gonna mark it. I cut here, and I'm gonna cut here. Oh yeah, smart. Where? Here. <laughs> Here's one. Is this straight? Let's have it straight. It's so difficult to see uh, because of the deckled edge if it's straight or not. Okay, this piece. Ooh, it's 
So this is going to go underneath. Oh, it's already so lovely. Do we really want a black border? I think so. I think so. The only thing is, I, re I don't re really like this bit. But am I brave enough to, to cut? I don't think I am. I am not. I am not. So I'm going to put this on here and have another border. Yeah? Before I do this, I'm going to um, ink around these edges. Do we want some stamping on the yellow? No. No? No. No, I just want to have a tiny strip of, of yellow and um, I'm going to ink that one as well. I'm going to cut here and here. Not with my deckled edge. No. This needs to be straight. I love this color, the sort of mustard yellow. Hoping this is straight. Well, let's do this the other way around. Yes, let's see. Yep. Also inking this. Now, I've decided to have this as the base, and when it's all finished, then I'm going to glue it on the, on the cover. Probably also going to stick something underneath, and you know, I have loads of stuff, so let's just see. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Going to glue it on. Still thinking about making this smaller, because it will sort of... Cut this off. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm going to try it, guys. I measured it. This is like a quarter inch. So, put a quarter inch here and then um, put lines there. I'm going to use my ruler. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a piece off because I want this to be really, really sharp. There you go. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Press it down really hard, lovey. I'm hoping we went through all the way. Because I'm not doing this again. We did. We did. Phew! We did. It's the only bit that I'm concerned about. Hmm. If it doesn't look okay, I'm going to take out some uh, black ink and maybe sort of try to cover up some edges. There's the tiniest wiggle thingy here, but that's okay because I already know I'm going to cover that up. Yeah. Are we okay? Are we okay with this? I think we are. I think it looks way nicer now. Yes, yes, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yay me. I'm gonna keep this. Yes, of course I am. Okay, I had my piece of paper 
flatten out underneath a pile of books. Yes. So now we really need to measure because this needs to be in the middle and then this needs to go on top. How am I going to fix this? Eyeball it? No, you cannot eyeball it, love. Well, I'm pretty good at eyeballing, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, I need to take this strip off. Just gently pressing. Let's see, did we did we do a good job? Well, I said gently pressing, so it needs to be a little bit stuck. Yeah, needs to be higher. Is this on straight? What do you guys think? Yes, yes, yes. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Yep. And then this goes on top. I think it left equal amount of room on all sides. Yeah. Yeah. Is it stuck? Yes, it's stuck. Pew! Okay, alrighty, alrighty then. Do we love it? I already really like it. I do want to make so do some decorating sort of behind here, you know, like putting something like this on or a poster stamp or what have you. Yes. And also, I needed to do that before I put the acetate on, of course. I want to ink this, yeah? So I need to put something in here to cover up the acetate because I do not want the acetate to be inked, of course. So I'm going to ink, yeah? I'll be right back. Inked it, yeah. Um, I just put a piece of this like so and then inked it. Okay, also want to do some spread stamping. I'm going to do it with the same color with frayed burlap. Just, just needs a bit here and there. There. Yeah. See, we aged it up a little bit. Now, before I do anything to it, um, I'm going to put in two eyelets. Normally, I'd use brads, but I think I want to use eyelets instead. I already know I want to have this on here, then this there, and this here. So there's no reason to put an eyelet here or there. So I'm just going to put it here and there. Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, smaller setting. That'll be nice. Smaller setting. Yes. Which ones did I? Oh no, the bigger ones. I have um, chosen the ones that we um, alcohol dyed. Yes, because why not? Yeah, just use them. This is a bigger setting, isn't it? Yes, bigger setting. Well, hopefully. This piece is big enough. Sure. There you go. Come out, lovey. Yep. Did I do it right? Yes, here and there. Yes, yes. <laughs> I was like, did I do it right? Yeah, you did it right, love. Yes. Oh yeah, looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. There's one. And the other one. 
cool. Oh, very cool. You can see the map through it. Love this. Love this. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put um, the foam tape. And I don't think I'm going to use the very... This is three millimeters. That is very, much, very raised. Do we want it that raised? No. So I'm going to use the, probably the two millimeters, if I can find it. It's probably somewhere on my desk. Yeah. So I'm just going to put uh, some of these pieces on. Yeah, but not... On these beads, yeah, these bits. This is extremely sticky. I can tell you this. I'm going to use some older scissors. Now I am going to move it. Uh, are you? Yes. Not on the outer edge. Because it's white and it will show. That's, you know, my conclusion for this. <laughs> yep. And I'm leaving on the backings for now. Because I just want to sort of figure out where I want what to go. Underneath. Well, these rolls of foam tape go fast if you do it like this, yeah. Probably need to get some more. There you go. Sticky stuff. Go away, sticky stuff. See, now we can sort of eyeball where we want everything to go. Yes? Yes. This goes here, this goes there. I was thinking to have this card here on the top. Yes, I think that looks lovely. Then we need something here. So I have something blue and something red. I have this one and this one. I was thinking to put it just like so, like a really small collage. Yes, I'm, I'm just going to do it. Just do it, love. Just do it. Could have licked this one. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to lick it. Yes, I'm going to cover up the city where it's from. Rosendale. Oh, I don't like the back. I was like, don't look at the back. Well, you could look at the back. I don't like this. It is very 70s. Let's see. Let's see. Happy with this. This goes here. And this goes there. Yeah. Needs a little something here. I know there's a lovely four there, but um, I'm missing something blue. So I'm thinking one of these tiny labels. I have them smaller, right? In the darker blue. This blue. I just seen one. Let's do this one. Will that work out? It will work out. Of course it will work out. Now, I've been thinking about the closure for this um, cover for a while. And I came up with it pretty quick. But then I was like, yeah, I need I need to make something lovely on the cover. A, a cover, journal cover topper. Actually, this is the first time I'm doing anything like this. Never done this before. So I'm hoping I'm hoping it'll work out, guys. Or have it half off. 
you cannot do it half off because it's already been put on love or oh, just have it like so oh i can have it a half off and it's really really cute it's really cute okay there we go where did we want it we wanted it here underneath the four yep anything else guys anything anything at all yeah here and here i think i think we're done or we could have something um sort of stick out here i don't think these tabs will do i have this lovely sort of burgundy red one We could have this as a pocket. I just now realized we could have this as a pocket and then have something stick out. I am, however, going to have it as a faux pocket. Just pretend that there is a pocket here. Yeah. And then I want this to go sort of there. Right. Do we want this one or, or green? No, don't add yet another color. I'm going to do red. Yes, but I'm going to stamp something on it, of course. Inked it a little bit with, well, there was a little bit of walnut stain on here. I don't need to do the back, guys. Actually, I could cut it in half, but I'm not going to because I like this finish way better. Now, I have um, taken out a stamp from the dates from the past, the original one from Sample, And it's actually a stamp that I've not used before. I cannot imagine that I have not used any of these stamps because I use this set so much. Okay. Oops. Oh, yes. Lovely. It's going to go on beneath here. Yeah. Like so. I'm not gluing it on the black piece. Fantastic. Do we need something underneath? No. No love. It's, it's, it's okay. Sometimes enough is enough. Well, mostly it isn't. But sometimes, sometimes it is. Yeah. Are you going to put, put it over it? Oh yeah, I'm going to put it over it. Of course I am. It's going to be a faux pocket. Because basically, really, this journal doesn't need any more pockets. I have maxed out the pocket. Have it on straight, love. Yes. Do we need anything else sticking out? I was thinking about this strip. This sort of film strip. Now we can either have it here. Or underneath here. I'm thinking underneath there. Yes. Yes. Are we done with the background? Nothing here, love, because you're going to put this here. I think we are. Yes. I think we are. We are. Uh, that means I can glue this piece on. So I need to take off these backings. I could have used a three millimeter. But that's okay. Please let go. Oh, I'm so bad at this, guys. Really, I am. Yep. I would be like an absolute nightmare of a card maker. Yeah, because it's not my thing. Okay, be careful, love. Be careful. Yes, 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 yes. Could have made a, sh made a shaker card. It's not a shaker card type of project. 
but it is fantastic i absolutely love it already and it's going to be even more fantastic because we're gonna add this and this it's gonna be perfect now for these two um i want to attach the small key actually I have two i'm gonna use this one here yes and also taking out a brad for this now i was thinking this one but here's my problem yes you will see the the key sort of hanging in there and i don't enjoy this i don't enjoy this so i've been searching through my brad collection and i found this big star and i think it's going to look nice let's try it this in the middle yes Ooh, careful love you could crack the the clock and we don't want this oh but we do want this <laughs> are you seeing this mr holtz yes <laughs> he would love this i know for sure that he would love this okay now i need to i think use my glue gun if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. This is Drippy. Drippy is my glue gun. He, his name is Drippy because like every glue gun, he drips. Now I'm also going to have this on here. But also, I was thinking to have this on top. There. Hmm. I think so. I think so. Okay, there's going to be glue. Um, I think I'm going to put glue here. Is that smart? Oh yeah, I, want, I needed a new um, a new cartridge for this. Is it called a cartridge? I don't know. New glue stick. But it worked. <laughs> it worked fantastically. Now I also want this on here. Shall we? Shall we do the glue gun again? Yes. Why not? Don't put glue on your fingers, love. Because, you know, hot and such. I think I want to put a dot of glue there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Glue everywhere. Yeah. Okay, and now we need to glue this on. Before I glue this on, guys, I want to see uh, what it looks like on Gunter. How far? I want this. Oh, are we in love? We are. Trippy, stop tripping, love. <laughs> oh, fantastic, right? Before I glue this on, I'm probably going to have something sticking out here and here. And I was going to put this here. But I think it's too close to that edge. So maybe I'm going to put it down here. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to stick anything here. But this will work out. This will work out. Stop dripping, dripping love. Well, if you want to drip. Hello. Then drip. New cartridge. I have them somewhere. But where? But where? Yeah, oh, here. Oops. That's a lot of glue for just a piece of sort of fabric. But it'll be fine. Thanks, Drippy. Are we loving it? We're loving it. Of course we are loving it. Yes. Film strip underneath here. I'm using art for this, hoping it'll work. Oh, actually I'm using Bart. This is not art, love, this is Bart.
needs to dry. What else? I don't think I'm going to put on anything else. No, I think this is enough. Is it enough, love? Are you sure? Maybe you want to stamp something here or something here on the bottom. Yes. I want to have a... Um, do you? Stamp or... Or, you know, photograph. No. No. I'm going to have it on here like so. It's glued on here. I just added this because it needed a number. Guys, it needed a number. Yeah, I. It, this turned out way better than I expected. Uh, absolutely love it. But for the closure, I have no clue how long this video is, guys. But you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it. Uh, yes, this is going to go all around it, sort of, like so. Yes. Yeah, but then the other way around. Yes, I was thinking the other way around. So this needs to be over here. Yes, and this needs to go through here and then over here. Now, I could have it just like this. Yeah, wrap it around and then sort of do this. But I want to attach it here and I have an idea for this. And I also want to try and do some stamping here because that's sort of very plain. Yes, it's going to be upside down. There's no other way for it than to be upside down. But that's okay. But that's okay. Okay. Now, my idea on the spine. What am I going to do? I'm going to take this piece, a piece of leather. Yes, this is real leather. Just going to take a piece of it. I'm going to sort of rough it up. Then I'm going to put this with brads on here. Yeah. And then this is going to go underneath there. I think that's brilliant. But, you know, it's an idea. It's an idea. So, concentrating on a piece on a piece of leather. I want it to be a little bit bigger than this sort of plate. It says carbon, 1958, county something. Okay, but we need to rough it up. I'm just going to use my scissors for this. I'm just going to try to rough it up a little bit. Will that work? I'm not even looking. Oh yes, that works. corner here yes okay so I'm gonna do it this way around here I need to make holes pokey tool pokey tool needs more roughing up here Yes, better. Let's see. Poke it all. We want a hole here. Oh, I think I think I need my crop out for this. Yeah, I already know. I'm not going to go through this. That's okay, because we do have such a device. So, yes. Come out. And then over here. Yep. Here and here. Did I already take out some of the of these brads that I want to use? This color? Oh, apparently this color.
Ta-da! Ta-da! Cool, right? I think it's cool. You wanna have a look? See? I think it's cool. Okay. Um, will this... I think I tried it. I think I sort of tried it. Will this go underneath? Because, yes. See? Oh, we love it. Yes, we do. Now, to glue this piece on, I'm not taking any chances. So, I'm taking, taking out Drippy again. I think that'll work best. Yeah. It looks so cool, right? Yes. Need to sort of position because it needs to be higher than this. So I'm going to glue it over there. Come on, Drippy. Let's go green. Let's go green. Now this glue dries very, very fast, so I need to hurry it up. I want it on this sort of height. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, uh, this is way too long, so I am going to cut a piece off. And let's see, this is going to go around here yes so i'm going to put this through here and hopefully there's still room yes there's still room there you go yep oh yeah i want to stamp something on it <laughs> let's first see how, uh, let's let's first see how it will work yeah so i'm gonna pull this through here then I'm gonna put a piece I'm just gonna cut a piece off guys because it is way too long I'm gonna cut it at over here is there still more room yes of course there is well this is not going to be a very easy closure but that's, but that's okay as long as it's going to look fantastic and it will it will. Now you can move this if you want to have more numbers on here. You could sort of move it. Yeah. Put it on there. How much do we love it? Well, a lot. Unfortunately, this is upside down. I knew that that was going to happen. It is what it is. It is what it is. I want to try and do some stamping on here. And I'm hoping it will work. Uh, let's take out some Mr. Tim Holtz stamps. I'm going to put on Strictly Handmade from uh, the inspector slash inventor. Yes, it's almost the right size here. And I'm using a lumberjack plaid. Now, there goes nothing. Hopefully, hopefully it'll work. Oh, it is so cool. It's so cool. Yes, well, I can tell you it worked. I am going to let it dry. I see it glistening, glistening a little bit, so it is wet. Yes, so before I use it, I need to let it dry. Then we're almost done. I am actually missing something here, but I don't know what yet, but I'm missing something there. So, uh, while I'm letting this dry, I'm going to think about it. I think I know what I want to do, guys. Uh, do you remember this one? Yes, I made these. Uh, together with some tabs and tags and what have you. Love them. Love them. Needs a little bit more grunging on the edges. It's a little bit lighter uh, color red than most red parts that are on this. But that's also okay. Um, it will stick out a little bit. Will that look horrible on the other side? Well, unless you put a stamp on it. So I'm going to put a stamp on the back, on this line here. Well, what am I going to put on? Just this? Or 
complete sentence. I'm just going to do this. Just as long as there's something there. Um, there you go. Note. Okay. So this is just going to go on here. Just, you know, because I want to have something on there. Now, um, if I want to put this on here, like so, I'm gonna, it's going to stick out a little bit. I want another line to go across it. So I was thinking to have another one of these stamps. Claims for error must be made on whatever, whatever. So this is going to be tricky. I'm going to fold this open. Now this does not have anything underneath. It's not going to be on the surface. So hoping this will work. Putting another piece on there. Just going to put this on there. Yes. And then, hopefully, this is straight. This one is going to go over it. I just want to have something on there. Uh-oh, there's also a pen here. <laughs> Will it work? It did. Phew, it did. <laughs> Be careful, love. Okay, let's move some stuff out of the way. Because now I want to have this on here. Yeah, that looks great. But I also want to have put something through here. I have this uh, burgundy sort of... What's it called? Almost lace. A ribbon. And this is going to go here. And here. Yes. Ooh, I'm gonna. I am going to do this now, guys. Um, normally, I take my Heidi Swap Tiny Attacher. Yes, the Heidi Swap one. But they, the, these are no longer available. They don't make them anymore, and they also don't make the staples for these anymore. So now I have this, the real one from Mr. Tim Holtz. So there you go. There you go, Mr. Tim Holtz. Yes, I bought your. I bought your lovely tiny attacher thing. Yes, it's going to stick out just a tiny bit. Not this glue, love. I don't want to see the staple. I'm going to glue it on. Yes. Do not want to stick it. Uh, do not want to have it to stick out a lot. Oh, your English today, love. Yes, you know why I need lunch. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks great. That looks great. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's probably dry. Yes. I'm going to put on the closure and then I'm going to look at the end result. It is ridiculous, and I mean that in the best possible way. <laughs> I've never imagined that it would turn out like this. I am, again, very proud of me. Very proud of me. Let me show you guys. I'm going to start on the top. The, the sun is out. Yeah. So you see sometimes a little bit of the sun out. Yes. A, a lovely sort of tap here. No purpose other than pretty. Yeah. And then we have Clairvaux, which is, uh, I believe, in, in Switzerland or in Belgium. Luxembourg. Well, not in the Netherlands. <laughs> Yeah, and then the, the closure, strictly handmade, well it was, it was, see, uh, you just flip it through here again, and I just tucked it under, and it does hold it really, really well, I really, really love it, and then, and then with the clock, the real one, and it's interactive, yes, you can do this, if you want to, you can do this, <laughs> with a lovely tab, for no reason at all, Look, look how, how well this turned out. Yes, like this frame here and then the number in it. You could not, you could not make this stuff up, guys. Yes, I even love the, the red number here. Can you see? I'm sorry for the glare. It's sort of transparent so you can see it through. Yeah. And then this is, um, well, 
the letter piece that we did. Sort of the, well, it's part of the closure. Let's sort of open it up and look at the whole image. I have no words. I love it. I've been thinking about this for a long, long time. And I have never imagined this. So very happy with it. Very happy with it, guys. I hope you, I hope you are um, as well. Well, we made the cover for Gunther. Finally. Finally. So this one is almost finished. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed myself. I am going to look at this for uh, a while longer. And just admire my own work. <laughs> I'll be back again tomorrow, guys, with another project. I have no clue what, but if it's going to be as amazing as this one, we're in for a treat. Until then, bye, guys.